everybody you join me on a baking baking hot Friday afternoon here in the wonderful Namibia I'm not just standing anywhere I'm not just standing out on the sticks I'm standing under something remarkable and it is right above my head check this bad boy out you guys see that that is what's known as a social weaver bird nest these little weaver birds like little finches like we get back at home instead of nesting by themselves no they form these massive massive groups as you can see above my head why on earth do they do this is it because they're mates with each other well yeah kind of but mainly it's for defense because the weaver bird is fed upon by birds of prey snakes like cobras which occur all around me actually in the grass i've got to be careful but these guys have worked out if we live together and we talk together and we nest together and everything like that then they can avoid the predators because it means that if they can outnumber the predators by living close together hopefully Hopefully a lot of them are going to get away with it and be able to breed. It's up above my head, up there, and each one of these teeny holes is a pair of adult weavers. They've also got their babies up in... Did you hear that? Wow. They're all talking. One of them's gone off in distress. I wonder what's happening. Oh, I see. A bird, a bird of prey has just flown overhead. That's why that distress call went up and they all started chatting. That was amazing. So as I was saying, the reason they live together in these colonies is to avoid birds of prey, because they know by living together, they're all going to give the alarm call if something happens. So it's lots and lots of little voices. It was almost... There we go again, something's going on. I'm going to keep my voice down. So I live in together. They're aware of all the sights and the sounds of birds of prey and other predators going around like snakes, and they all natter to each other. If one of them puts the alarm call out, they'll all fly out the colony, and they all survive. They're all looking out for each other. I think with that in mind, I'm going to leave these little guys alone on this glorious Friday evening. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, everybody. I will speak to you guys soon. Cheers for now. <laughs> and they're on cue, off they go.